I mean, I imagine that causes you quite a lot of challenges in terms of how you articulate what you do, because a lot of businesses want to kind of niche down, talk about a specific area. They maybe have two or three target job profiles that they go after and they, they learn to talk in that way. So is that, is that a challenge that you've kind of faced as you going about doing what you do? Yeah, I think for me, the biggest challenge is that including in the organizations itself or themselves, they don't often understand the full scope of workforce management or resource planning. And they often think that this is a function that basically plan people in the same way for every day of the week. And it's kind of administrative function. And I've often have that going through different industries that they have a different naming convention for these titles. So they don't necessarily understand when I use workforce management, what do I mean? And a lot of people were thinking, oh, it's a, it's a tool. It's a software tool. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's not a software right. tool. For me, it's the whole domain. And I know that it's traditionally related to tools, but I would say it's much broader than that. So there are a lot of challenges on this end. There is, there is. And I know that kind of from, from conversations that we've had, one of the things that you're quite proud of making a difference in the market about is the fact that you're kind of keen to get your hands dirty and, and practice as well as consult. So it's not just about offering advice and strategy. Your ideal engagement, I'm guessing, is getting involved in the thick of things in the middle of the chaos and um, bringing a bit of order to it, right? Yeah, I often refer to myself as a hands-on consultant because, and maybe this is my differentiator that I'm a practitioner, and that's why I said I've seen it all almost probably, and I am not very often surprised, let's put it this way. So I actually enjoy relating to my customers and understanding where they are coming from, what are the challenges, and what would I do if I had to be walking in their shoes. So I actually quite hate a lot of, I wouldn't necessarily say consultants, but a lot of people who are providing one size fits all solutions, because for me, it's like we are having different businesses, different circumstances, different people, personalities, culture. I really, truly do not believe that a single solution is a fit for every single company out there. So I'm trying to diversify and see what will match best with my customers. Okay, so moving then to marketing side of things, which is obviously the the main point of the podcast here is, you know, we want to kind of share best practices, look at things that have failed and understand how we can avoid them, all those sorts of things, both from business owners like yourself, um, and we've had a couple of business owners on, or from marketers who've been through the trenches with various different industries and businesses and want to share their experience and knowledge. So one of the things I, I ask our guests is, um, of all the things that you've tried so far, and bear in mind, like, let, let's, let's be honest as a, as a, as a podcast here, like you haven't been running your own business for too long. Um, what's, what's one thing that you've tried that you've really struggled to get to grips with to generate marketing, um, awareness or leads or inbound inquiries? <laughs> 